Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is part 32 of the Zelda Breath of the Wild series. And uh, today we're going to be um, pretty much exploring all of the... I don't, I really don't remember the region name. But uh, where the big old mushrooms are at, all the electric area. And then uh, also we might do a couple more things in the Gerudo area if we see them. Like uh, I know there's a shrine right here that we should probably get uh, pretty soon. So I don't forget about it. Um, but most of the video will be spinning up in this area. So, um, yeah, let's just get right to it. First thing I want to do is check out this, uh, this shrine right here. So let's go ahead on and, uh, be over there. Big old daddy Cass chilling over here. What's up, bro? What are you doing? How you doing? I need to talk to him again. Uh, would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, make it quick. Uh, as light shines from the northwest skies, from the tower's shadow an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. Okay, so basically, the, the tower must line up with the thing, and that should uh do something and then we have to shoot an arrow somewhere and it works so i'm gonna check that out is it floating no way it's floating that is so cool it's just chilling it's literally just like floating and that's an endless abyss right there that is sick okay so we need to have the tower's shadow lining up right where we're standing and it might be coming towards us. It actually looks like it's going away from us. Yeah. So I'm going to assume that it's somewhere in the morning that it's going to be doing this. So let's get out our campfire, which we're very limited on. We have only 10 attempts here because of uh, how limited we are on wood. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully, this is just going to be like a regular arrow because... If it is not a regular arrow, then that's really going to be bad for us. Um, may, I mean, maybe it's a fire arrow. I feel like it could be. I just, I really don't know. Let me, let me look at it again. Um, as light shines from the northwest skies, the tower, from the tower's shadow, an arrow flies. Pierce heaven's light to reveal the prize. The prize. Pierce heaven's light. Who knows what that means? But I'm gonna assume that it's just a regular arrow. Um. Which we only have one of. That's really bad. Okay, um. <clears throat> assuming time is not gonna move extremely quickly. Uh, we're gonna move over to Gerudo Town and grab ourselves some more arrows. Hopefully, in time. So that we can get all the way back to that spot. And shoot arrows, since we only have one. So let's uh, let's hope we can get back in time. Okay, I really, I, as soon as I get in here, I really, it's just this is a time crunch. So I gotta, I gotta make it to the arrow area immediately. I only have so much time. It's 5:20 a.m. and it already looks completely light outside. That's a little interesting, but this is high rule, so who knows? Okay. <clears throat> uh, can you grab all my all these arrows? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, now we need to go all the way back. Hopefully, we can make it in time. This is really we're really pushing it. Hope we can get back. I mean, I think we only wasted like an hour in Zelda time. All right, I think we're gonna be okay. Wait, is it already lined up? Where is the tower? Wait, I'm really confused. Oh, it's still moving. Okay, right, right, right. so we still have a long period of time before it gets over to us. So I don't even know why I was so worried. We got plenty of time. All right, because it's coming over to us, right? Yep, slowly but surely. All right, so we got 16 arrows. That should be plenty enough. Now we just have to wait. That's the annoying part. I do wonder if there's anything down here, though, in this little 
Great Cliffs area. Some tucked up back in here. Very well could be. I just haven't checked. Uh, I don't think there's much of this area that we haven't explored. Because over there is a Muldugu, I think. Maybe not. That's a Muldugu. Um, that's the shrine and the Leviathan skeleton shrine. I mean, we got most of the stuff in Grudo, so. I mean, shoot, we spent like six episodes, or not episodes, videos, sorry, videos uh, in this area, so. It makes sense. Kind of took a lot of time on it. I'm going to climb. Hold on, I'm going to get back onto the Grudo Tower and look down. See if I can see anything, because I literally cannot tell anything right now. Alright. Let's hope we can see better from up here. What's up, Cass? Oh, it's right there? What? Still ro Oh, okay. How is it possible that it's still there? That is so crazy. No, but seriously, like, what? It's like barely moved. I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna um, cut to when uh, it's actually lined up. See you all in a second. Uh oh. I feel like we should ready into our positions. All right, Cass, I gotta go. See you, bud. Love you. Don't fall into the bottomless pit. Hopefully, I make this in time. I have to see what happens. I think he's glowing red. Pierce the skies with the fries, whatever they say. Heaven's light, pierce the fries. Oh my gosh, it worked! I pierced heaven's light. Let's go. I did it. No way. I only had to wait like 10 minutes. Sorry, me and Cass were chill. We were just kind of talking about our life, how things were going. Told me I was grandma died. It was kind of sad. I, I, I feel bad for him. But, you know, he'll, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Kinda glad I got that right. My, uh, my past Zelda experiences are coming in handy. Some of these are a little bit harder to remember on, uh, what you're supposed to do for them. Alright, just give me a chest and let me get out. Okay, never mind, we have a modest test of strength. That's so nice of you. I thought you were just gonna, like, let me get out of here, you know? Just darn it, dude. I just, I want, I want to go home to my Hatino house. I just want to chill out. <sighs> oh, Gordon's got three. Oh, actually, this is a way better picture. I've decided. Hey, bro. You ain't doing that. Come here. Aha, you suck, bro. Okay. Yeah, you're not very good. Hate to break it to you, bro. You, uh, I could probably put my barbarian clothes on. Cause that'll help me out. Just saying, like, all he had a spear, all this. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't talk. All he has is a spear and a shield. It's kind of a bummer. Hit me with that spear. And yeah, he still missed. So it uh, happens to us all. All right. Um, what do I want to use? Could use my meteor rod if I really wanted, or my edge of duality. My meteor rod's so cool though. I'm gonna keep it. Edge of Duality for sure. Come here, bro. Uh oh. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, I never... I, I don't know why I always forget that he does that. Like, it's just something I do. And this is gonna hurt you. And you're dead. Well, it sucks for you. GB, Ugh. I can't, I just, I don't know what it is. I can't talk all of a sudden. GG, buddy. Guardian Spear Plus, let me make sure I have all this stuff pictured. Oh, I don't have that. I'm glad I taken a picture of it now. That would have been bad. Okay, uh, I really need to dispose of a lot of this stuff. Take, uh, get rid of all these old pictures, probably. Seems like a good idea. I have like a thousand of them, so it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, uh, what about this one? Yeah, that one's good. Okay, cool. Alright. Nice, my edge of duality was too much for that guy. This wasn't good enough. 
Ah, oh, poor dude. Alright, give me something good in this chest. I went through all that pain sitting there with Cass. Just for, uh... Just to have to go through more pain in here. Alright, give me this frost blade. Because I don't think I have it. And frost blades are really cool. Wish I could keep it, but I just really want a picture of it. That's the only reason I want it. Strangely enough, Frostblade looks amazingly a lot like a, a like the Master Sword. It's just got ice on it, and it has a little bit of a different ha handle, but it's really uh, really similar. It's pretty cool. I like it. If only the special ability materials like the fire and the ice and the electric were more powerful. Ah, oh, that'd be so good. All right. Okay, um, so, I'm gonna assume, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any more in this area, so I think we're good on that. Now we gotta go on to this area, and I know that there's one shrine here that we need to get, which, uh, triggers a little cutscene, so that'll be cool. But, first thing I wanna do is we're gonna go to Hatino Village, and, uh, we need to go to our house and drop some stuff off. We could also trade in some stamina vessels and hearts, so that'll be cool. Okay. So, um, first thing, we need to drop our, uh, our Bosa's stuff over here at, uh, our house. It's been a while since we've been here. Oh, we still have our dudes chilling out. That's probably because we didn't get all the upgrades. We might have. No, we did. We got all the upgrades. They're probably just chilling out because they want to. Oh, no, not that one. We're not doing that. Okay, the Daybreaker must be put up. It is the second best shield in the game, so it deserves some credit. And then, other thing, the Scimitar of the Seven. There you go. Very nice. Now we got uh, an extra slot in both of those uh, things, shield and weaponry. So, sweet. Awesome. Uh, now let's go over to the, um, whatever you call it. Um, I don't even know what the name is. Wherever the statue is that gives us stamina vessels and stuff, that's where we need to go. Let's see if I can find it. It's going around here somewhere. I forgot where it is, to be honest. Yeah, I honestly forgot. If I was a thingy, where would I be? little strange um okay I really don't know where it is but uh, we don't really need the hearts and stuff right now so it's fine what I, we should really do is explore this area so I'm gonna use this tower to get over to here and uh, get the shrine and stuff Uh, oh shoot, I'm cold, forgot about that. My bad. Okay, cool. Okay, just jumped off. Alright, um, so we gotta make our way over here. And, uh, that's where we'll find it. I don't know if we've done that, uh, ferry thing yet. I doubt it. We didn't explore this area too thoroughly. Um, I don't really remember why. I just don't think we did. Um, also, I think there's Hinoxes down there. Maybe just one, but it's a cool area. We should explore at some point. Not today, though. This area has already been skimmed through. We don't need another little uh, exploration through it again. Disappointing thing we never did is we never slid down that area. It's really fun. But uh, one day we'll do it. Maybe with a motorcycle, because... Motorcycle makes it even better to do. Alright, use my revolver skill because I don't want to walk. Being a little lazy, because I can. Get a little enemy camp there. Um, guardians below. This is a really cool area. The Rito area. Tabantha, I should say. Yeah, Tabantha Frontier. Hey, you better leave me alone, mister. I've killed like a thousand of you kind. You don't want nothing to do with me. Little turd head. Alright. 
Use this bad boy again. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be some mild ones chilling around here. What they don't know is I've already defeated, ugh, defeating all the divine beasts, which means they can no longer harm me. To ban the wheat. It's been a little bit since I got that. That's a forged boomerang. Okay. Hey, I mean, I'll take it. Interesting. Okay. Um, I guess I'll use my Liza Forked Boomerang since I have it. Because why not? Yo, what's up, Broski? How you doing? It's been a little bit, huh? Forgot about that. It's a little bit annoying. You have enough? Whoa, okay. Hey, bud. That works. Yeah, it works. Just overpower him. Sweet. Um, it's my d disgusting uh, reinforced lazel shield. And uh, take all his guts, and we shall be going up this way. Let's uh, get this cutscene, or this uh, memory, right here. Uh oh. Let's see if I remember. Whoa! Well, this looks familiar! Just as I thought. Hmm. It appears that this structure was designed to be exclusively accessed by the sword's chosen one. But designs can always be worked around. At least I hope. How do I get inside? I need to activate it somehow. Ah. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Zelda? How you doing? I thought I made it clear that I'm not in need of an escort. Oh, my bad. It seems I'm the only one with a mind of my own. I, the person in question, am fine, regardless of the king's orders. I'm just doing my job. Return to the castle uh, and tell okay. it to my father, please. Yeah, he's gonna, like, ground me, though. You don't understand. I can't- no, I can't do this. Zelda. Zelda. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah, I remember that. She was a little bit angry. Just just maybe a little bit. That's okay. I'm gonna save her. Uh, get her from the castle. She'll just be like, I'll chill with it. And it'll be sick. Okay, um. So let's go ahead on and uh, get in the shrine. Tina Kosa Shrine. Let's see what's in here. Skip a major test of strength. It's like I skipped over all the uh, the guardian shrines until like now. It's just like I'm finally finding them all. It's kind of crazy. Major test of strength. I'm gonna take all your guardian weapons, bro. I'm gonna take all of them. Bro, excuse me, dude. You're not good. You're literally not good. I don't know who you think you are. Get out of here. Get out of here. That wasn't worth it. Okay, I did not mean for that to happen. Use my edge of duality. Do a little spin spin. That worked. Pretty nice. 
Another thing is, I don't think there's that many shrines in this uh, mushroom area. There's a lot of Koroks. Not too many shrines though. Um, I think they have, there's one, uh, like, shrine where we have to deal with, like, we actually have to, like, look around and, like, figure it out. Um, other than that, I don't think there's anything else too crazy. One of those, um, interactive shrines. It's not that bad. It's kind of like, uh, the eight heroines where we gotta, like, put the balls in certain areas. Um, but it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Hopefully we get these, this guy's, uh, this stuff without dying. Pretty sure we won't because it's too good. Yeah, I definitely want that shield. Dude, another broken weapon? What the heck? I really need my master sword about, no. Be kind of fun. Sweet. Okay. Really glad he died there. Got a little scary for a second. Can't carry any more shields. Why not? Uh, I don't need this garbage shield. That's fine. Uh, sweet. Cool. Um, might as well use this ancient battle axe for now. See what the shield's gonna give us. Hopefully something good. I am wondering though, what shrines have I not gotten that have the cl the rest of the climbing gear in it? Because I know that there's some climbing gear and at least like one more shrine, I believe. Um, not exactly sure which one it would be, but Let's see. I also probably need to take a picture of this because I know for a fact I don't have one of the royal halberd until we get to like Hyrule Castle and around the Hyrule area we won't see these bad boys for a little bit but it's alright and I think we have like 10 spirit orbs by now we're uh, we're moving up pretty far okay uh, do we have 10 yet? sweet Ancient columns. So cool. Alright, uh, so we're actually gonna go into the area that I said this video would be about. Finally. Uh, it's only taken me so long. Um, let's go across this bridge because it'll be fun. And why not? I could just teleport over there, but, uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like doing it. I feel like there's a shrine up there. Which there very well could be. I just kind of doubt it. Nah, that's a Korok for sure. Saw the little uh, fan thing up top. <coughs> Phew. Man, I'm pretty tired. Oh uh, yeah. Oh shoot, and we haven't even done the. Uh, I don't remember if we did the the Goron thing down there. We haven't really explored too far down there yet. I don't think. But maybe I just don't remember. Who knows? We might have in the uh, when we were around the snow region. Since this is the way we had to go. And now we're creeping up on this old stable. Get old Misty, maybe. We'll see. See what happens. Misty! Oh, Misty. Is, are these wild berries? Bro, I could have just wild berry farmed here instead of going all the way over to the stupid Gerudo Highlands to find them for that one person. It's pretty annoying. It's alright. Um. Okay, cool. Actually, I'm gonna grab this wood because I know that we need it pretty badly. Sometimes. With campfires and stuff. Yo, what's up, Dabby? I would like to get my horse. Oh, Misty. Misty, let's go. Yep. Thank you very much. Alright, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that one trine with like the. Where it's like we gotta put the balls in the. The different areas 
and you'll see. I know it sounds weird, but just uh, hear me out. It's over here somewhere. Uh, I think it's pretty close. Like once we round the bend, there's like a big old electrical storm going on, and uh, that's where it is. I don't remember though. That would be pretty close up this way. And there's the tower that we're gonna need to get. Yeah, I mean, I would have thought that, uh... Gale is now ready. I, I remembered the Mushroom area being a little bigger, but... You know, it's a, it's a pretty big biome, overall. And it's not just the Mushroom area as well, I mean, there's a... This is the main... It's mainly a Mushroom area, but there's also a little bit of other stuff off that way. That we may or may not be able to, to uh, explore in this video. So, yeah, here it is. Yeah, there's a, I mean, it's mainly mushroom area, as I said. I like the, uh, the lightning, I like the effects that it gives it. This is definitely a cool area. Alright, here we go. Coming on down, find these orbs. Get the shrine. Thundra Plateau, that's what this area is called. Oh, it's like Great Thunder or something. I'm gonna need to get rid of all of these uh, lightning weapons. Uh, remove and guess I use this one. All right, cool. So get one here. I don't remember exactly what we're supposed to do, but I believe we put it in the little holes. You who have reached this land of thunder, I present you with a trial. Oh shoot, it takes like, it takes all the stuff away I think. Maybe it's our powers. When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. Uh, I really don't know what that means, but okay. I thought it was gonna like take our stuff away or something. Oh shoot, okay. Not cool dude. So we have two orbs at the moment. Uh, it's safe to say that this one goes here. Um, so to say that this one goes here. And now I just have yellow and red. Now, finding it isn't the hard part. The hard part is getting it up here, I remember. Because there's a big old divot in the, in the land down there. It's pretty annoying to get around. Do we have, can we use cryos? Yeah, we can. I, I've always used stasis to do this, but I've learned my lesson from Eventide Island that uh, Cryonis is definitely a better tool most of the time. Okay, I just realized how hard it's going to be to get up there. Hey bro, how you doing? See you later. Um, Alright, get up here. Come on, I'm so close. Sweet, okay. Um, so, we're going to throw it down. And then... We're gonna use Cryonis, like right here. And we might need to use Stasis to get it up, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, now that's up here, feel a huge sense of regret. And I don't think this is gonna work. Okay, Keys Boys, leave me alone. Sorry, if these Keys Boys don't leave me alone. Alright, uh, other thing I'm gonna wear is my beautiful. Thunder Helm, because we can, and uh, this is the perfect time to wear it. Uh, I think that's the yellow orb right there. Now I do believe that to get it up, we're gonna have to find a spot like this, maybe, and we're gonna have to thrust it up with our powers. Well, uh, well, shoot. That didn't work too well. Yeah, not the best idea ever. Um, okay. Let's just, uh, walk around a little bit, see what we can see. I'm gonna assume that there's a certain spot around here that is gonna let us up. But, um, it's gonna be a little difficult. For sure. Why does that have to be so hard? Okay. 
Um, there's a hole right there. And there's also a Korok right here that I would like to get. If I can. See if he loops back around. Yo, broski. And I got him. Too easy. Yeah, I found you. Alright, cool. Um. Grab okay, this dude. Okay, I think over here. May be our best bet. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna say that right over here would be the best. Why are there so many of you? Why are there so many of you? Why are there so many? Please stop. Okay, if that doesn't get up there... No. Please tell me, wait up, please. Oh my gosh, I made it, no way. Phew. Okay, that's scary. Alright, we got one. Now we need one more. I thought I was gonna, like, go over it. That was, that was just terrifying. But, uh, it is a little weird to me that there's, like... Eventide Island is, like, one of these, and it's, like, it's kind of small, you know? It's, like, a, a small area, area over here. It doesn't take up much space. And it's just for one shrine. This is a lot easier, and it takes up a huge area. I mean, look at the amount of area this one place takes up. It's huge. I don't know, I just feel like, uh... The size could have been used a little differently. And I think once we put this in, it'll like, once we get everything in, the, the shrine comes back, and then all of a sudden, uh, it stops raining. Why are you doing that? I uh, don't throw it. Oh my gosh. Drop it right there. Okay, cool. And then we have orange one over here, which we're gonna fly over to because I don't feel like walking. And we're going to go to the same spot over there and do the same thing. Unless maybe I could use my stasis powers and throw it over there. Yeah, I really don't trust myself enough. Yeah. I don't know, I'll try it. Okay, okay, that's not cool. I need to get behind it, like, perfectly. <laughs> Yeah, Re Revised Gale definitely helps in this situation. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna put it like right. We're gonna throw it off. Boom. And we're going to put it on this thing and use stasis to get it up and over. Because I don't trust that little uh, statue. It's got all those weird little divots on its head. Alright, this should be perfect right here. Hopefully. Oh, it stays. It's even better. Oh, shoot, it made it. Okay, awesome. Alright, nice. Perfect. Just what I needed, and I think that's uh, all we needed to do. Pretty sure. It's way easier than I thought. I mean, it already gave us two orbs to begin with, so pretty easy. Yeah, and that one landed right next to it. Look at that. Very cool. Alright. Run over here and put it in, and then kaboom, we're done. Whew. Too easy. Come on. Shrine should appear right in the middle. Yes. Alright, cool. Trial of Thunder completed. First shrine in this area that we've got so far, right? Oh no, besides the stable, but it doesn't really count. Okay. Oh, what? I thought I was gonna be done. I thought I was gonna be like, you did it. Now you, uh, get free stuff. Again. The heck? Oh, 
Alright, well, first of all, gotta break all of this, so it's out of my way. I think I got most of it, besides this over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, use our metal thing to push this down. Which it didn't do somehow. Okay, all the way down. Now we just need to make our way up there. Somehow. What in the world? What in the world? Okay. Um. So we take this off, and I need to climb up it somehow. If I can. Use it as a little ramp. Okay. Now we do this. Yeah, I failed. Tragically. Okay. Uh, need to move it out a little bit more, and then it should be good. So, put it here. Climb up this. Climb up this. Climb up this. Pick it up. And... Yes, okay, cool. Alright, now, using our trusty old bomb arrows. I'm not angry, I'm not angry, I'm not, I'm not angry. Nope, I'm not angry. You know what? I forgot, I didn't equip my thing. Okay, there goes that. Problem solved. Um... Climb up this once again, and move the thing. Perfect. Okay, and kaboom, we are in. Took a little longer than I thought, but wasn't too bad. I'm surprised they actually. Uh, didn't just give us a chest and a spirit orb since we went on, went through that uh, shrine quest. Usually shrine quests just uh, send you on their way and are like, alright, good job, now take some stuff. Sweet, 11 spirit orbs. Okay, cool, and now I don't need to worry about the rain. And I also won't have to worry about this garden sword for much longer because it is almost gone. Um, okay, next thing that I wanted to do in this area is get the tower, because the tower is definitely going to help us navigate, and that's the main reason we want to come in here, so we can unlock this big old tower. Although it's really annoying to get up, especially if you don't have a Velez Gale, like I do right now. Um, like I don't right now. And, uh, we're going to probably have to wait for it, so I don't have to spend nine years... Uh, climbing up this tower. Um, Thunder Helm, it's not going to be needed for much longer, sadly. Although, I know there is like a Thunder Suit and stuff that you can get around here. I don't exactly know where from. But, uh, I think there's like some, maybe some chests or like some shrines with it in it. I don't know. I really forgot where we get the Thunder stuff. But you don't really need it too bad. Uh, if you're just careful about where you're at and stuff, so this would be like the only region that you really need it 100%. Um, but I mean, I got the Thunder Home, so I'm chill, you know, chilling in the patch. Is there something back there? I feel like there should be. It may not be though. Okay, um, yeah, this, this is my favorite area. Love it so much. You got three electric whiz robes. Dancing around like a fool. And, uh... A ton of Lizalfos. I don't... I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. 
Um, can I get like, I want a close up of its face. I don't know. It's a scary area. I don't like doing it. Is, now ready. is they shock you and then it, you like can drown and it's it's not cool. But good thing is I got me revised kill, so I can revised kill my way all the way up to the top, not have to deal with the mushroom water and the electrical azulfos with electric spears. <laughs> And I can just go all the way to the top like this. And climb all the way up the rest of the way. And I'm up. Too easy. Is Cass up here? Who's up here? I really forgot. There's like some weird quest. He wants you to like fly a certain way or something. He wants to see like how far you can fly. Seriously though, like, how could you get up here though? This place is like, packed with monsters all around it. And it's over water. Like, it's literally over a, a lake. So, uh, I think I need a little bit of answers from this guy. Would be nice. To know. Okay, cool. Um, so area we unlocked. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, for the canyon, that was a big part of it. And then we have this, uh, well I can't, uh, I just pointed to my screen. Yeah, y'all can see my screen for sure. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got the, the mountain below us that has the, um, like the, uh, what do you call it? That, the big old blue horse looking thing. And then above us where we are on the map, we have the mountain, which I think might have a shrine on it as well. Um, but that's cool to explore. Uh, was, we also need to explore below us, too, that has a shrine. Um, so there's a lot of shrines in this area that we just need to go through. Uh, I think we might start by going downward. Because downward is definitely going to be the easiest way, because I know there's two shrines down that way. And then, I don't know if we're going to do any more than that, to be honest. Like, we could defeat the Hinox, because I know there's a Hinox chilling around, like, the over there. Is now ready to roll. But, uh... Do I really want to spend all that time defeating a useless Hinox? Not really. Not really. Yeah, I know it's strong down here. It's the main reason I wanted to come down here. Uh, I never talked to the dude, by the way. That was a little saddening. I'll do that later on, though. He'll be fine. He'll survive. I don't really need to go talk to him. Hello, bro. Yeah, you probably weren't expecting that. Okay, got ourselves a shrine chilling right here. Zalta Wa Shrine. Let's check it out. See what's going on. Yeah, I also remember that, that mountain with the blue thing, when you ride it, you can like ride it once, but it takes like an enormous amount of stamina, I think you like get something from it maybe. It's weird. It's like a weird, uh, pattern to it. What does this do? Lift me up. Okay. Um, this could be really easy, potentially. Kaboom. And kaboom. Alright. See what happens. Yeah, exactly as I thought. Okay, that did something. Oh, and then there's the other orb. Okay, this was pretty easy. We just needed a, an arrow for that. Okay, now, open this bad boy up. Throw him in. And, boom. That does something, I assume. Oh, okay, and then we have to time ourselves with it to get up. Okay, I kind of need to get up there. Excuse me. Alright, here we go. Nice. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh no. Should have just stayed still. The hardest part is once you get up there. What am I doing? What the heck? What was that? Okay. 
Okay, now I need to get up. I don't need to stay stagnant. Okay, we're just gonna chill here for a second and walk. Okay, nice. Made it. Hopefully that's it, right? Yeah. Nice. We got like 12 now. Uh, spirit orbs. Gotta trade in. Killing it. Destroying the shrines. Oh, yeah, we got 12. Nice. It says, uh, that when and the loading screen for the shrine that we have 88 shrines collected. That's really impressive. We were like only 32 shrines away from having everything, and we haven't. Uh, we've just been skimming through areas, so that's just off of my memory and not including probably some of the ones that I've missed along the way. So it's pretty cool, pretty impressive. All right. Uh, other thing is, I know that there's a shrine over this way. We should probably go, because why not? And then, um, yeah, I don't know, we might go over to the, the mountain over there. We'll see what happens. We shall see. Yeah, I remember this, this little book island camp over here. I fought against these guys a lot. Do not like them. Is it just empty? Just an empty book island camp? I mean, I'm definitely not complaining, I'm just a little astonished. Yeah, I don't need to mess with it though. Who cares? What the heck is that? A broken... That is strange. What is that? Huh. That is really weird. I'm not messing with that right now. Just cause I do not want to. Okay, we're gonna... Climb up this little hill, and then up here we see old Cass again, our buddy Cass. First time we've actually ever listened to him is when, uh, uh last video in, uh, Gerudo. So, it's probably like five more shrines Cass has been there that I just haven't even talked to him about. Um, but, you know, it's chill, who cares, it's fine. Yeah, there it is. Huge mountain. That's like one of my favorite areas in the game. It's so cool. Oh, Hanox boy. What's up, bro? I'm not fighting you right now, so have fun. Um, okay, yeah, we're getting pretty close. It's like he's over this way on the other side of the path. Shield surfing on grass. Doesn't work too well. Try to kill a fox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just end it right there. It's fine. Anyways, oh shoot, what is that? It's a little beetle, little beetle boy. You can sell those things to beetle. I love them. It's crazy to think that we've already been through like all of that area. We've already been through all of this. Already. Where's he at? He's chilling somewhere around here. Oh yeah, there he is. Yo, Kasperowski. How you doing, bro? Oh! I did not hear your approach. I was lost in the song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago. You see, and this was the last song he taught me. Excuse me. I fear I may have gotten away, carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent. Without further ado. When a single arrow threads two rings. The shrine will rise like birds on wings. When a single arrow threads two rings, the shrine will rise. Okay. Threads. Okay. There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure. And I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. May the light illuminate your path. Cass is cool. He's just a cool bro. Alright, so we gotta shoot an arrow. Is that a Yiga clan? A sense? It's not very cool. Who is... Who is it? Oh, shoot. I didn't realize they were double teaming now. Cheers. Sorry, Broski. Yeah, 
Yeah, you kind of got dogged. I can bring it to you. Yeah, you guys kind of got dogged on. I thought y'all would have been a, a bigger fight. I mean, y'all are probably a little sad that I uh, defeated Master Kogu like it was nothing, but you know. I won't talk about that since it'll probably hurt your feelings. Oh, it's raining again, really? I love when it rains, it's so, it's so great. Okay, so I need to find a place where two arrows could pass through each other. And I assume it's not going to be an easy spot. Two arrows. Two arrows. So that's a weird spot. What if it was like over here? Why can I not? Sh okay, I cannot shield surf in this area. It's just not a good idea. Hey boys. <sighs> Too easy. Little key swings. Little key swings chilling. Could I do it there? Oh shoot, dude! The heck! I was too busy looking at the uh, the little ring thing. I think I can do it right there. I think I can. I just need to actually aim right. I need to have a long enough bow. Something that'll shoot far enough. Okay, that's too hard. That was too little. Too much. Yes, we did it. Sweet. Let's go. Would have helped if I had a little bigger bow, but hopefully we can get some of those arrows back. Yes. I need to be talking to Cass more often. Man, if I only had to paid attention to him a little more. He may have led me to a couple more shrines. Poor Cass. Just wants to play uh, uh, songs for everybody. Nobody ever wants to listen. It's not fair. Poor old Cass. All right, moving in parallel. Um, what does this mean? No way I get a first try. Huh. I got one. Oh, okay. I have to do it the opposite now. And kaboom. Wow. That was extremely easy. I'm not complaining though. Okay. Nice. Very cool. I'll, I'll probably have like 14 spirals, but uh, 13. Okay. Alright, um. Okay. Um, uh, alright, so I don't think that there's many other shrines in this area. There might be, and we might be able to explore it next time, but I'm not going to do it uh, right now just yet. Uh, we'll explore this area in the next video and maybe a little bit of this area. Um, one thing I want to do before we end it is I definitely want to go trade in these uh, these spirit orbs. So let's go over to Kakarika Village and try it. Okay. Um, so I think, I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I'm thinking maybe we have a lot of stamina vessels, but we also have a lot of hearts too. Maybe one heart and all right, we're definitely gonna gonna get one heart and yeah, I think we should do. 
two stamina vessels just so that we can get closer to the end. I mean, we have a lot of hearts already. But we're doing pretty good. Uh, stamina vessels probably for the the last one, I would imagine. So we should be getting pretty close to three full wheels. I'd bet. Main reason I want to get all uh, these stamina vessels is because uh, I want to be able to get Ganon and Zelda's old horses. So, I get that last stamina vessel. Heck yeah. Sweet. Perfect. Look at us. We can run for years. Just keep on running. We're running around. Get all the stamina. We're running for days. And I miss being in Kakariko. It's been really a long, long time. Uh, I'm gonna do this Korok before <laughs> before uh, I end the video really quick because I'm curious. Oh, oh it worked. What's up, Korok, bro? Yeah, you found me. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.